If you can't learn to run with the pack one of these days, you'll be someone's dinner. I was really compelled when I saw uh, the technology available through Dolby. Dolby Vision offers a lot of artistic possibilities that digital has not in the past offered. I thought that the high dynamic range, the deep blacks, the bright highlights added to the photorealism of the film. We're the first film to be released in Dolby Vision 3D. Whatever hesitation people might have in going to see a 3D movie, I think completely goes away when you see Dolby Vision 3D because the brightness of the image, the, the quality of the lenses, and the fact that the, that the idea that the glasses just disappear and you're watching a crystal clear image where you feel like you just climb onto the screen is a game changer. When it comes to Dolby Sound, we mixed in Atmos. And part of the reason we did that was we tried to revitalize a technology called Fantasound that Walt Disney developed. It was a bit impractical in his day. It was very expensive. They abandoned it pretty quickly. But now, because of the array of speakers in Atmos, we're able to surround the audience with various musical instruments that would move dynamically throughout the musical piece as best we could figure of what Walt Disney's vision was for Fantasia. I think that the combination of digital photography with Dolby Vision makes a compelling case for the fact that we've now surpassed celluloid. The aesthetic of doing a digital movie like this without grain, with a clean image, gives you a real sense of how gorgeous the photography actually is. With new technologies where people, I think, are resistant to the digital look, this sets a new bar for how beautiful visuals can be. If anything happens to that kid, I'll never forgive myself.